Hi, good day. I'm Pearl Scout, the mother CEO of Fatsan Estates. And today I want to bring something totally different to you. Although I'm here greeting you with a smile on my face, honestly, inside here, I feel like just bursting out in tears. So let me tell you what it's all about. Most of you by now must be familiar with a very famous, very informative, something the industry can definitely not do without, a uh, um, Facebook group called Sectional Title Living in South Africa. And Hendrik Hofman, the founder of that group, posted something this morning that completely took the carpet out of uh, under my feet. Um, it was extremely touching and um, I want to thank Hendrik for reminding us what it's all about. Um, the post had to do with a lady here in Pretoria, a portfolio manager, that yesterday afternoon decided to take her own life. Why, you may ask? I suppose we would never know and it really doesn't matter. This happened at her workplace. Um, I want to say to her colleagues, our condolences to her family. <sighs> but it leaves us with a question, why? And I want to say something. Um, managing agents on a day-to-day -day basis take abuse from clients, hefty abuse from time to time. I, know what, I, would, I want to say not all the clients, but some of them and the words and the screaming and the swearing we have to endure is sometimes things you don't easily forget but it doesn't just go to managing agents we work with amazing scheme executives trustees chairpersons and they receive they are on the abuse uh, sorry they are on the receiving end of abuse from their scheme members so how do we resolve this? Let's do what Hendrik asked. Rather say thank you. That can take you a long way. And if you are upset about something and you do want to go off like a rocket, just wait a while. Breathe. Take a few seconds before you speak, before you put pen to paper, before you press that send button on the email. Think. Who is on the receiving end on the other side? It doesn't matter whether you are right or wrong. It all has to do with the manner in which you communicate. We are all people. We make mistakes. Some of us are greater failures than others. And once again, think about what happens outside the spectrum of the person you are sending this message to or we are talking to. If we could treat each other with respect, no matter how upset we are, I'm very sure situations like this can be avoided. So I'm gonna leave you with that. Once again, thank you, Hendrik. You at least reminded me of what it's all about. And I certainly hope this message um, means something to some of you in the industry, out of the industry. Thank you so much for your time. We will speak again soon.